Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked And by the way, just got in town. Then I won't let you me this. Hey, y'all. It's me. Free and a friend, too. Yeah. You into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh. A peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you. And today I'm back with another video. Y'all, today is Saturday, October the 12th. It's currently 8:36. It's currently 8:36. Y'all, we're 37 now, and. It's nighttime, y'all, so, yeah, but today's video is about to be a sit-down video, as y'all can see. I'm not really talking about it because the baby is sleeping, she on the bed, so I don't want to wake her up because I ain't going to get this video done, and yeah, I need the video done because I need my money, I need content, I need to get my life together. So, let's go ahead and jump right into tonight's video. Also, y'all, let me into the So, I was for the stone. Okay, y'all, so, the last 30 days, y'all, has been good, and I would say it's been good because, for one, now I in daycare now, for all y'all that's wondering, yes, my daughter's now in daycare, so, y'all about to be getting a lot of get ready with Nala for school videos, not even get ready with me no more, about to be get ready with Nala for school, and, yeah. And also, y'all, I supposed to be officially officially starting cosmetology school for hair November the 12th. I had my orientation November 11th at 5 p.m. So, yeah, that's another thing that's also been happening. And that's also happened in the last uh, 30 days. Another thing, um, I've received SNAP and Tana for my daughter. Because I know people be asking me, like, do I get SNAP? How do I provide her food and stuff like that? Um, another thing somebody else want to know, how much do I pay for daycare? So, let me go ahead and just answer that. So... voucher for her and that basically pays for her to go to school it's basically what it is um mm. yeah these sound of my dog clench um yeah so the first two days Nala went to school she didn't cry or nothing I did receive a picture of her in school when she was outside, he took the kids outside, whatever. So I did receive a picture, and because of the kids in the picture, I'm gonna put emojis over the other, all of the other kids' faces. But I'm gonna keep now the face, you know, in the picture. So I'm gonna show y'all that right here. And then, um, they also, oh, there we go. Okay, y'all. They also update me on when they change her, when they feed her, when she starts her naps, when she wakes up from her naps. How much food she eat, what they fed her, how much milk she drinks, and things of that sort. So I'm gonna also put a screenshot of that right here for the last two days. Um, I know a couple of y'all want to know who's on her emergency contact list. Do they have authorization to pick her up and drop her off? You know, and things of that sort. And y'all want to also know what's the name of her daycare, but due to personal reason i'm not going to disclose her daycare because i just don't want everybody to know what you know what i'm saying what daycare my daughter go to so i'm just not going to tell what school she go to but i'll answer the other questions um 
I do, I do actually, in fact, love the daycare. I can do tell, I can tell that I love the daycare, even though she's only been there for two days. It's very, how can I put it? Very closed off. Her her classroom by itself is very closed off. It's very little to none of no kids in there. Literally, it's about three kids in there. All jokes aside, it's about three kids in there. And I wouldn't have seen it myself. Um, what else? What else? What else? You know, she just been there ever since for the last two days. Ever since she's been around other kids that isn't like my niece or my nephew, or like my sisters or nothing, she's been very calm. She's been adjusting to it. I can say she's been adjusting to it. Um, when I drop her off in the morning, no, she don't cry. She only cry when, she, of course, when I pick her up, cause she like, dang, mom, where you been all day? But you know, yeah. Um, y'all also want to know who's on her emergency contact list. So we have, of course, me. You have my mother, well, my second mom, well, somebody that I, somebody that I look at as a mom. Her son. You have my sister. You have another one of my sisters. There's only five people in her emergency contact list. If it's not them five, can't nobody pick her up, drop her off, nothing. Um, but see the day, the way my daughter daycare set up, y'all. Whoever picks her up and drop her off, they have to sign her in every morning. And you have to insert the code that's on the bottom of the screen on the little app that they use. Everybody have a different code. So, like, my code would be 1, 2, 3, 4. My sister's code would be 4, 5, 6, 7. Or, you know, my other sister's code could be 0, 0, 4, 4. It can be anything. Nobody's code is the same. So, that's one thing uh, I can't say about the codes and stuff like that. Um, what else? Nala has overall been... She's been well. Um, she did, in fact, start physical therapy, as y'all seen in my last um, video that I posted, which was yesterday, I believe, or the day before yesterday. Might have been the day before yesterday. I don't really remember, but um, she did start physical therapy. She's doing good with that. Um, she's supposed to get a foot brace on her right foot because for some odd reason, Nala don't tend to, like, pick up her right foot and she drags it and when she drags it it causes her left foot to trip over her right foot and then she fall, bust her leg, da 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 scream and cry, holler, you know, things that baby do. So <clears throat> because her therapy her physical therapist doesn't want her to, you know, keep falling and keep her and so they advise me to go ahead and just get her foot brace. So that's what we doing. We waiting for that to get made. We gotta get her foot size measured all the other stuff so they can make it. Um, yeah. That's really it, honestly. Like that's really a banana for for um no one to me. Somebody asked me I'm sorry that my hair is so bad. I don't know why but somebody asked me was I pregnant because my face was getting fat and because my stomach was getting fat. First of all, boo boo <clears throat> let me eat this first of all. First of all, boo boo, mind your business, okay? Whoever you are. Because it was like one of those little anonymous things I had posted. And somebody asked me, mind your business. If I'm pregnant, let me be pregnant. I won't tell you, boo. No, I was just playing y'all. But, no, I'm not pregnant. My face is getting fat. I don't even know why my face is getting fat, honestly. My face just tend to get fat out of the random. I don't even know, but, no, I'm not pregnant. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and clear that up. And if I am, y'all will know. I will tell y'all when the time is right. Or if it was a possibility of me being pregnant, I would have told y'all. So stop assuming that y'all know me. Because y'all don't. Because when I'm not pregnant, too, I don't plan on getting pregnant no time soon. So, yeah. I'm looking over to the left because now it's going to be right here. But, yeah. Um, another thing. As far as the cosmetology school, y'all, it's more so... Okay, so, with this cosmetology school, I need 1,500 hours, right? So, that's 1,500 hours for whoever don't know. That's 1,500 hours. So, 1,500 hours is how much I need to graduate the class. 
at the end of the course, I have to take the test, the state test. And if I pass it, you know, I get my license and I'll be a licensed cosmetologist, a licensed hairstylist, which means I can work in a hair salon, I can get a booth, I can work in like, you know, professional hair salon, you know, I can work anywhere that requires, you know, a license for hair. Okay? But for the first, if I'm not mistaken, don't call me up, but if I'm not mistaken for the first Sorry, that was my little sister. She just asked me if I was okay. But um, for the first eight weeks of the cosmetology class, you own the computer. And on Fridays is when you come in person and you be hands-on. <gasps> Excuse the message, y'all. Sorry, my sister just blowing up my phone. But yeah, so that's really what it is for the first eight weeks. After that, you're in the, you know, in the salon every day. Um, another thing, the hours may vary. Sometimes you can go there from 8 to 4. Sometimes you can go there from 9 to 2. Sometimes you can go there from 9 to 30. It just all really depends on your schedule, how it works for you. Because of me, I have a child, of course. So, my schedule has to work around my child when she go to school and then when I have to pick her up. So, because my child go to school from 7 to 6, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., I will get out of school around like 2.30 or 3 o'clock. Um, what else, what else, what else? You only can wear black or red scrubs to the cosmetology school. So, I'm debating if I'm going to do all black or if I'm going to do all red or if I'm going to do red top, black bottom or red bottom, black top. Even which way, I'm going to get both red and black scrubs for cosmetology school. And I'm going to just, sometimes, I'll probably just wear both of the same color top and bottom. Or sometimes I might just mix and match it because who want to keep wearing, you know, all black or who want to keep wearing all red? I mean, I know I'm not the only person who want to just keep wearing the same color. I'd rather, you know, mix and match it sometimes. It just all depends on how I feel that day when I got to put it on. Whew. Another thing, y'all, I did, in fact, apply for Target because as y'all, if y'all don't know, Target is hiring. So if it's any of y'all that's six, well, six. Most targets, you got to be 18 now. I don't know why, but most targets, you got to be 18 now. So, if you're 18 or no, then you're not working. You can apply for Target. You can apply for Foot Locker. You can apply for Panera Bread. Um, what else? Safeway, Giant. All of those, are, as of right now, that I know, those are the ones that's hiring. I think Chipotle is hiring. Wingstop is hiring. You can also apply for all of those jobs, y'all. So, go ahead and get your job. There should be no reason why y'all don't have no money in your pockets, okay? Okay. Um, Another thing. Another thing, me and my sister, Derica, we supposed to be going on a trip to Miami in the beginning of the year because we just feel like we deserve it. We feel like we worked hard this, you know, for the whole, this whole year. So we feel like we just should, you know, just take a trip to just ease our mind type stuff. So it's supposed to be me, her. Sorry, I just keep getting a lot of messages, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, you know, we just feel like we deserve it, so that's what we're gonna do. It's supposed to be me, her, and like a couple of like two other people, I believe. So we're gonna go from February, like I think the last two days of February to like the first two days of March. So just know y'all gonna get those vlogs, y'all gonna get come with me, y'all gonna get a pack with me, prepare with me, whatever, because you know, everybody that's going, I'm I'm apparently I'm gonna be doing the hair, they didn't bother and told me to do the hair, so. I'm going to be doing it here. All of us going to go to the nail salon, get our feet and our nails done. We're going to all somewhat coordinate with the bathing suits and the outfits. Some kind of way, rather, is with the purse, the shoe, the accessories, the hair, the glasses, the bathing suit, the bottom, the top. Some some kind of way, all of us is going to, you know, coordinate. Um, And then, again, in our birthday, since both our birthdays are in July, we and her are supposed to be going to, I believe she said the Dominican Republic, or maybe it was the Bahamas. I don't know. One of those places we supposed to be going back in our for our birthday. So it's supposed to be me, her, her boyfriend, and then whoever I decide to bring. But um, what else? Yeah. And then I suppose I have an interview coming up with who was it? Full Locker. Yeah, Full Locker. I supposed to have an interview coming up on Sunday, which is I believe that's tomorrow. Yep, that's tomorrow. I have an interview with Full Locker tomorrow at four p.m. So I will be going to that interview. Um, hopefully I get the job because. That means when all the shoes come out, my daughter is going to have all the shoes. So there be no reason why she shouldn't have the shoes. Also, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and do 
Nala's outfits for the week. Like, do a video. If you get what I'm saying? Like, every day, it's going to be a different outfit. So, five days a week, five different outfits. And y'all going to see the outfits. I'm going to put it in one video. And it's going to be Nala's five outfits. Nala's outfits for the week. Or something like that. Or Nala's daycare. Nala's daycare outfits for the week. That's what I'm going to title the video. Maybe. Or maybe I'm going to change it. I don't know yet. But, Yeah. But y'all, that's really all that's really been happening for, for honestly, like, from what I can think of, that's all that really happened in the last 30 days. Like, I don't, like, nothing really be going on for, for like, honestly, I, as bad as I, as much as I make it seem, oh, that's what I was supposed to tell you. I did, in fact, get into it with my siblings today because I felt as though that they don't invite me or my child in the way. They don't include us in nothing. So I told my siblings how I feel. And no, I'm not talking about my siblings on my mom's side. I'm talking about my siblings on my father's side. I told them how I feel. And they felt the type of way. But do I care? No. Because, well, like, let me know if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. But maybe I'm over being over dramatic. I don't think so. Because if y'all keep saying this is y'all niece, why don't y'all get her? Why don't y'all, you know what I'm saying, call out? Despite they them having school, and I totally understand it. Yeah, that's one thing I can't say. They do. They are still in school, but it's the principal. My siblings on my mother's side, they're in school, but they still manage to call her, text her, get her. Rather, I ask them to get her. Rather, they just text me, "Nay, bring the baby to bring the baby to us because we want our niece for the weekend." My siblings on my dad's side, they don't do that. They don't call like. They might call every once in a blue moon. They'll call me when they want money before they call me to ask me. What my niece doing? Is the baby okay? Do she need anything? Or let us get her for the week. Or let's get her for the day. Or let's get her just for one night. You know what I'm saying? They don't even do that. So I told them how I felt. And they, of course, got mad. Told me I'm bipolar. Told me I'm disrespectful. Told me I'm all of this other stuff. But I don't really care. Like, I'm going to protect what's mine. Like, this is my child. This is my kin. I pushed her out of me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to protect her by all means. Rather than cutting people off, cutting people out of her life, telling them how I feel like... She, you know what I'm saying? Tell them how I feel, like how it made me feel. I'm going to let them know. Regardless of how anybody feel about it, I'm going to let you know how I feel. This is my child, so I feel like y'all should y'all should respect what I say. Because this is my child, so whatever I say, go. But of course, they don't understand that. But that's a different story for a different day. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that behind. I don't care. I did what's best for my child, and I felt as though I had to block all of them. So I blocked all of them. So if y'all watching this video, I blocked y'all. I stopped sharing my location with y'all. And y'all can go and tell whoever. And I'm going to let them know why I blocked y'all. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not ever trying to sound disrespectful. I'm not trying to sound funny. I'm not trying to sound me. I'm just telling you what it is. I felt as though y'all were trying to be funny. So I told y'all how I felt. And I felt as though y'all were still trying to be funny for calling me delusional. For protecting my child. And telling y'all how I felt about how y'all treat my child. How y'all act towards my child. But I don't care. Again. But... Y'all have reached the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed tonight's video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells so y'all can be notified every time I upload a new video. And with that being said, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.